This essay example, as well as thousands of others, is available in text format on our website for free and without registration. Simply Google Ivy Panda Free Essays. Introduction This paper identifies 10 terminologies and gives a brief discussion of each of the 10 terminologies. Most of the terminologies were used by ancient Greeks. The 10 identified terminologies include nemesis, thumos, physis, nomos, phronesis, mimesis, aret, karos, eidos, and eusychia. Nemesis According to Aristotle, Nemesis has the meaning of a feeling of throbbing at unwarranted good destiny. The term represents what is known as virtuous resentment, which emerges from a sense of claim with regard to impartiality and desert. This is aroused in individuals by the thought of achievement without merit besides a consequential pleasure that arises from the punishment of the unjustifiably prosperous individual. Thumos Thumos can also be spelt as thymos. Thumos is an ancient Greek word used to denote the concept of spiritedness. For instance, it was used to portray a spirited argument or debate. Thumos was also used to indicate a physical relationship with either blood or breathing and also denoted an individual's desire to be recognized. Plato, in his work known as Phaedrus and other works, described Thumos as one of the prominent components of psyches. Plato stated that thumos was an emotional constituent of virtue. It influenced some of the feelings experienced by people, for instance, the feeling of fear and anger. Physis The term physis is a Greek term used in relation to philosophy, theology, and science. In English, the term was translated to mean nature. Physis was used as a synonym for the word natural. This stemmed from the etymology of the term physical. In more detail, physis lexically connoted phaion. Phaion was used to imply growth in ancient Greece. The Greeks gained knowledge of physis through introductory noetic and poetic knowledge of being. Nomos Nomos is an ancient Greek philosophical model of law. The model became common during the late 5th century and early 4th century BC when the Greek sophists were deeply concerned about the political authority on the one hand and also of the rights, freedom, and specific obligations of citizens on the other hand. The Greek sophists discerned between nature, otherwise philosophically known as physis, and the convention, also known as nomos. Laws were placed under the nomos because laws were generally regarded as emanating from human inventions achieved through consent to limit natural freedoms for the benefit of pragmatism and personal interests. Phronesis Phronesis is an antique geek term denoting wisdom. It was also used to refer to intelligence. Both wisdom and intelligence are terms commonly used in philosophy. According to a theory regarding Aristotle's rhetoric, phronesis is one of the three kinds of appeal to an individual character. This is commonly referred to as ethos. Phronesis, as used, was more concerned with specifics because it influenced how an individual acted in a given situation. Aristotle emphasized that for one to be virtuous, phronesis is both sufficient and necessary. Mimesis Mimesis is a Greek terminology with a number of meanings attached to it. The term is both philosophical and critical, its meanings include mimicry, imitation, and representation. Mimesis is an ancient Greek idea used to govern the creation of artistic works connected to the material world, which was understood to be a model for good, truth, and beauty. Plato contrasted the term mimesis with diegesis. However, after Plato, Mimesis had numerous other interpretations. Aristotle also had an interpretation of what mimesis was. He wrote about mimesis as the exactness and simulation of nature. Arate This is also a Greek word used by ancient Greeks to mean excellence. This meaning was tied to the concept of the realization of a purpose or objective. It was used to describe the action taken by an individual to realize a full potential. In the ancient culture of the Greeks, 
Arete was considered to be strength and audacity. In fact, the term arete was used by ancient Greeks to mean something related to being the best one could be in the process of realizing the goals of life. Therefore, arete could be interpreted to mean virtue used in achieving practical results. Keros Keros is another ancient terminology used about an appropriate moment. The ancient Greeks used both chronos and keros to refer to time. However, Chromos was mostly used to refer to chronological time, while Keros was used to refer to a time frame, a period of indefinite time in which an incredible thing happened. Comparing the two, Chronos was quantitative in nature, and Keros was qualitative. Besides, both modern and ancient Greek philosophers have used the term Keros to refer to weather. Eidos Eidos is a term that was used to refer to the deity spirit of humility, respect, and admiration. Eidos was a companion to a deity known as Nemesis. As a form of quality, Eidos was a specific feeling of respect or disgrace that barred men from committing wrongs. Nemesis, as discussed earlier, represented righteous resentment awakened by the sight of the iniquitous living in unmerited good destiny. Eidos was seen by the ancient Greeks as a personification of humility. She was worshipped both by the Greeks and the Romans. Eusychia Eusychia is a Greek term that stemmed from the Greek roots eu, implying good, and psyche, implying the soul. Given this, Eusychia means a good society. The ancient Greeks used the term to imply a society of good community members. Eusychia was considered a vision of a utopian society. It was coined by Maslow to describe a community in which health, self-actualization, and life balance are enhanced. Conclusion This paper identified and discussed 10 terminologies. These terminologies include nemesis, thumos, physis, nomos, phronesis, mimesis, aret, keros, eidos, and eusychia. The terminologies were predominantly used by the ancient Greeks. This coursework on defining the key terms in philosophy was written and submitted by a student just like you. The Ivy Panda Samples database hosts thousands of works similar to this one, on various subjects. Visit ivypanda.com to find what you are looking for.